In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn off the gray shading on your fillable forms in Microsoft Word. I have a whole playlist on my channel on how to create fillable forms, so be sure and check that out. All right, let's say you have created this form and you want to turn off the gray shading so that either it looks a little cleaner or especially if you print the form that it won't print those gray boxes. And so we're gonna come up to our developer tab and if your form is already restricted, if you've already created it and you're enforcing the protection on it so that your users are actually filling in this form, you're gonna to wanna to come over and click on restrict editing and stop protection. You'd see a button that says stop protection. This form is unrestricted right now, so we can go ahead and edit it. Um, what I wanna do is come over here in the controls area, and this is where we have a drop down. If we hover over this icon here, this is our legacy tools. And if we do a drop down here, um, we've used these legacy tool form fields to create this form. So we've used check boxes and text and drop down fields in this form. And by default, when we create these using legacy tools, there's this gray shading, right? Um, to turn that off, we simply have to click this icon over here. It uh, looks like an A with some lines through it, and so that represents the form field shading icon. All we have to do is click that, and it turns off the gray shading. So there's only the one option. You can he either have it turned on or off. So you can certainly select to turn it off, and then um, that way, when you print the document, it'll look cleaner and not have all of the gray boxes on it. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, is when you do turn off that gray shading, notice that um, the form will look a lot cleaner and may not be noticeable to your users as a form. So you'll want to be sure and include instructions at the top to say, you know, click here uh, to to fill in your name or something like that. So you can use those prompters for your users so that they know that they're filling in a form. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.